Hey YouTube, I'm Tristan from Smart Home Point. So on the weekend I was installing my Ring floodlight camera and basically something happened to it when I was installing it, made me think I completely broke it. As you can imagine, this is pretty frustrating because it's quite an expensive item. And I didn't want to play around with it uh, based on what I'd done. So the first thing I'd done was Google the problem I came and I came across some Amazon reviews that basically said the same thing. And like me, they thought they completely broke the uh, Ring floodlight camera and they said it's a waste of space, rubbish product, etc. And I actually ended up filming a YouTube video where I sort of felt sorry for myself and ranted a little bit about how it's a flimsy product. Even though I followed the instructions, my Ring floodlight camera is pointless and I just felt something break. Even though it was really gentle, I just felt something go and then the whole Ring camera was loose. It was drooping down, it started suffering from ED, electrical dysfunction, if you will. This is really disappointing because for such an expensive item, I was expecting a really high quality product and frankly, the quality just wasn't there. Now, as it happens, well, there is a bit of a design flaw. If this particular problem happens to you, it's not broken. You don't need to go on Amazon and give it a bad review. You don't need to make a childish YouTube video and rant about the product. All you need to do is fix it quite simply. Okay, so the problem I had was that when I was actually rotating the Ring floodlight camera, the main camera bit, uh, I was rotating it to the right after following the instructions, meaning I'd, I'd loosened the screw at the back. I was turning it and the whole unit just came out in my hand, which is obviously a bit concerning. Um, and it's just literally dangling on, on a wire. Um, and basically it had come out of my hand and I was trying to get it back in the actual ball socket and it simply wasn't going back in. Uh, you know, I'd loosened everything, the screw and the, the back screw as well, and I, I just couldn't get it back in. And as a result, the, the whole ring floodlight camera was just dangling down. And obviously, as you can see uh, on the footage, it was just literally giving me a shot of my patio, of my paving slabs. It was a little bit pointless. Um, and I actually ended up researching different ring, you know, different floodlight cameras instead, thinking I'd like, completely broken this device. But then the following day, I came back with a fresh pair of eyes. I looked at it, and actually it turns out it's quite simple to fix. Now, I do think this is a bit of a design flaw because you should be able to rotate a camera left and right without the risk of it coming out into your hand. Um, it's quite an expensive product and really I think this should be, this should have a more premium mount that should stop this actually happening. So you should be able to rotate it without the risk of it coming out into your hand and thinking you broke it. Right now in terms of fixing this, all you've actually got to do is loosen up the main uh, socket uh, screw at the back. You need to loosen up the other screw and then you literally need to push the actual ring camera, turn it on the side a bit and then push the actual ring camera into the ball socket with a little bit of force, not too much, but a little bit of force, wriggle it around and it will actually end up going back in. And then at that point, you can see that it'll rotate around as normal. Uh, and it's quite easy to do. Uh, once you've done this, just tighten up the screws as normal and it's as good as new. So whilst this issue isn't really ideal and, and I honestly had thought I'd broken it because you know the, the whole spotlight camera came out of my hand and I, I couldn't get back in, um, it is relatively easy to fix. Um, having said that, some people online on the ring forums have said that even with applying pressure and actually trying to force the, the ball back into the socket, it still won't go in. Um, thankfully, this wasn't my experience, but if it's your experience, that's, that's really unfortunate. If it is, let me know in the comments below because it, it would be interesting to know if other people are having issues beyond simply the ring floodlight camera coming out and not going or fitting back into the ball socket. Um, but I wanted to film this video as a bit of a PSA that if you have the ring floodlight camera and it comes out in your hand and as a result it's dangling down and won't stay upright anymore, if you have this issue, don't worry about it. You should be able to fix it, hopefully. Um, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.